The issue that the opposition raised was never about compensation. It was about politicizing and demonizing the RCMP. That was not appropriate. I stand by my comments that what the RCMP did was to secure uh, communities to make sure that people were safe. Alison Redford back in September, but I'm not sure if you noticed the curly haired guy standing behind her. So while Redford is saying nothing happened in the high river with the gun seizures that was untoward, nothing to worry about, it's just the opposition politicizing it. Uh, in my hands, a letter from Jonathan Dennis, her justice minister, the guy standing just behind her. In it stated June 27th to Dale McCowan, deputy commissioner, the guy in charge of the RCMP on Alberta, asking questions. He's not alone. Finally, finally, after we told you months ago that the RCMP Complaints Commissioner will be starting an investigation, well, they call it expedited, they're actually going to Alberta. Here's what they told us on the weekend. Commission investigators will be in High River from December 9th to 13th to speak to people who may have been impacted. Well, we're going to give you the contact info and we'll give it to you again. You can call the numbers on your screen or email the numbers on your screen. And we'll make sure this is out on social media as well. But 1-800-267-6637 if you want to be interviewed. Solomon Friedman joins me now. And I know, Solomon, you're here in Ottawa, but you've been dealing with people out there who have been affected by this. And we still get some, like Ms. Redford and others, saying, no, we only secured. We saw it with CBC last week. We only secured unsecured firearms, things that were lying around in plain sight. How important is it for people to get involved and be active in this process while the Mounties are out there? Look, I can tell you this. You know, when a lawyer in Ottawa is getting phone calls from people in small town Alberta saying the RCMP have breached my rights, they've entered my home, they've taken my firearms, what should I do about it? This is a little more than just some political fodder. And I don't think Ms. Redford could be any more mistaken in thinking that this is something, you know, simply that's been manufactured. The RCMP are obviously taking it very seriously, and people need to step up to the plate here. I mean, they have an opportunity to explain in detail what happened, to voice their concerns, and hopefully there'll be some accountability. Now, last week, CBC went huge with this batch of access to information files, um, saying, no, no, the, we, we saw the RCMP emails. They said they only secured unsecured guns. You've heard from people. I've heard from people. We have videotape of people showing us that their homes were not flooded, that uh, there was no reason for the Mounties to enter their home, that their homes were locked, their doors were kicked in, and, and guns taken from basement closets, non-restricted firearms. How can that not be a violation of someone's rights and the police stepping overboard? Well, I think we saw this coming, right? Because we saw iteration after iteration as the RCMP story sort of evolved. We heard about protection of life, then we heard about securing unsecured firearms, and then we heard about some general police power to come seize firearms, right? And none of those are justifications for what happened. Now, I think what we saw in those emails was far more telling than simply uh, a, an explanation or an attempt to cover up, but the fact that the RCMP was feeling the glare of pressure all across Canada from firearms owners, whether they were affected or not, who were very concerned about this. This is far more than just one or two isolated incidents. It appears to have been a systematic attempt to secure firearms without warrant and without legal authorization. And if people don't get involved with the Public Complaints Commission, have their story heard, then there will be no blowback, right? Oh, I agree. I mean, this is the case, I think, anyways, where there's going to be litigation or people are going to be suing the RCMP. Most of these people are trying to clean up after a mess and get on They've with their lives. They've got more important things to deal with than a lawsuit. No offense to lawyers. Exactly. You know, I normally don't mind uh, offending you and other lawyers, but no offense to lawyers in this case. Look, um, part of the, the, the problem is that uh, the RCMP, as you say, have changed their story many times. But from the beginning, politicians, including Jonathan Dennis, including people at the federal level, when they started hearing about this said, hold on a minute, this is problematic. I want to ask you about what my, my friends at the state broadcaster were saying last week when they, they, they made it seem as if, as if civilian oversight of the police were a bad thing. I thought that's what we always wanted, not civilian interference, but just the civilian oversight saying, are you, doing, are you sure you're doing the right thing? Look, I don't think there's anything more essential to the functioning of the modern police apparatus in our democracy than oversight. And oversight not by senior police officers, but by arm's length, otherwise accountable civilian bodies. And that's what we have here. Now, 
people need to take on, on this opportunity because it's a very important opportunity to have the RCMP conduct reviewed. And of course, we know, look, in times of crisis, it is common. It's not excusable, but it's common for certain civil liberties to go out the window. And this is an opportunity to ensure that, look, there are going to be other floods in Alberta and elsewhere. There are going to be other natural disasters. They cannot become excuses for the RCMP to overstep the bounds of their legal authority. People need to get involved. All right, let's go over those numbers once again. 1-800-267-6637 or you see the email address there, reviews at cpc-cpp. Dot gc dot ca. We will have those numbers, uh, the numbers and the emails out on social media, including on Facebook, where you can share your thoughts on this story. Facebook.com, punch in byline or my name.